Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you decided to come back to see me. It really means so much to me. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I am your empath earth angel. And yes, I was sent by the Lord to deliver a very special message to all of my chosen ones all over the world. Chosen ones, having a kind heart will get you used and hated in the world that we are in today. When you have a kind heart, the average person, they do not value that. They will take your kindness as weakness. They take your kindness as an opportunity for them to gain something. When in reality, there's no need for them to do that because the fact that you are giving away your kindness, you're already helping them. But unfortunately, this world, people are so toxic, they don't know a good thing when it's in front of them. So your kindness, they don't look at it like you're being kind. They don't look at it like you're being helpful, you're being loving, you're lending a helping hand. They don't view your efforts like this. The way that they view your efforts is in a way to where they are trying to figure out what can I get out of this person? What more can I get out of this person? It's greed. That's exactly what it is. It's greed. They get greedy. These people know that you are a rare gem. These people know that they are not gonna find anyone else like you for a long time. They know this. But instead of them valuing you for the gem that you are, they are going to try to find ways to gain more out of you. Chosen ones, you have to be very careful. And, you know, I've said this before in many of my other videos that, um, you know, the chosen ones, we have um, a trait, okay? We have a common trait. And that trait is that we are kind. We may not be nice all the time, but we are inherently kind. And um, this comes from Jesus. It is a trait that we inherited from Jesus, okay? It is a trait that we inherited through the Holy Spirit. So it is nothing that we can really get rid of. It's, it's not. And, you know, you may have some people that watch, you know, my video when I talk about the chosen ones being kind. And I've seen like comments before on my videos, like, you know, um, you know, you shouldn't be giving people the benefit of the doubt or, you know, you shouldn't be kind or you should know better. Um, but the reality is if you are a real chosen one, there is an inherently kind spirit that you have. And it is very difficult for you to ignore it. Even to people that are doing you wrong. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to, you know, just go all out on the limb and continue allowing these people around you and just helping them, right? But you pray for people that do you wrong because you know that they do they do not really know what they are doing. They don't really know who who they are messing with. They don't really know who they are touching. And you know that judgment is headed for these people. So you pray for them. 
And that is what separates the chosen ones from, um, you know, just average people. But back to our inherently kind spirit. Chosen ones, I just want to tell you guys that it is nothing wrong with you, okay? Um, if you are one that has gotten played, okay, more than once, um, if you are one that has gotten, you know, used up, abused, took them for granted, I'm just here today to tell you it is not your fault, okay? And I don't care who tries to tell you it's your fault because you're being naive, you're being, you know, you're being too kind to people, you're being, it's not your fault. That is something that is just inherently in you. As chosen ones, um, we are going to experience abuse. We are going to experience being used. We are going to experience being played all our life, okay? It's not going away. As a chosen one, you just have to learn to use your discernment in the right way. And when, you know, when you do pick up on these things, when you do realize that, you know, you are dealing with somebody that is taking you for granted, okay? Um, what you have to do is you have to draw that line and you have to set a boundary, you have to set a boundary. And so this is where the hate comes in with the chosen ones because as chosen ones, you know, God is not going to allow us to continue to get hurt and used and abused by people. So, you know, when God finally, you know, provides that insight to us that it's time to exit it's time to set that boundary it's time to let these people know they are not going to continue doing what they're doing this is where the hate comes in because they're not understanding how are you able how were you able to be kind to me and now you're drawing a line and you're setting a boundary and you're telling me that you know if i don't stop this then you're not going to continue doing this they don't understand that. They expect you to be a doormat and allow them to continue using and abusing you and playing you like a fiddle. So when you speak up for yourself and when you tell them, you know, look, I see what you're doing. There's not going to be too many more times of you doing that or you will lose access to everything that I'm providing you and you'll use and you'll lose access to me as well. They don't like that. So now they hate you because see now they see a different level of strength that they they did not know existed within someone who can be kind. Many people in the world chosen ones they get um the word kind and the word nice confused kind and nice is two totally different things okay it's two totally different things so when they come across a chosen one that is inherently kind but also knows how to set boundaries they will hate you because you see they want that kind part of you but they don't like the part about you that knows how to set boundaries Believe it or not, not a lot of people know how to set boundaries. You know, um, I would say most people in the world just kind of go along to get along. They, you know, they don't want to create any type of confusion, any type of debates. You know, they want peace and they feel like if they just go along to get along, things will be fine and they don't have to deal with conflict. Um, or you'll have people that, you know, just flat out lie to other people to make the other person just go away, you know. But you're lying. You're not being real. You're not being yourself. But um, that is how most of the world operates. They just go along to get along or they lie to each other to just prevent conflict. But with the chosen ones, we tell it like it is. We are truth speakers, we are truth seekers, and we tell it like it is. So chosen ones, 
continue setting your boundaries, okay? And if you have not set boundaries with specific people in your life that are using you right now and abusing you right now, I'm here to tell you today, it is time for you to set those boundaries, okay? Because it's only gonna get worse. And, you know, as time goes by and you continue allowing these people to do this to you without you setting boundaries, they are coming up with new ways to play you, new ways to use you, new ways to manipulate you. And it's like a, you know, it's like a monster inside of them that is only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And you're going to create a huge problem by not setting a boundary. So just remember, chosen ones, there is nothing wrong with you. If you are inherently kind and if I'm talking to the right audience, most of you are inherently kind. I know you are because a real chosen one, the real chosen ones, the real ones, we're inherently kind. We are humble people. We are, you know, we, we are inherently kind and we don't like seeing others suffer. So I know that if you are a real chosen one, you know exactly what I'm talking about right now. Continue setting those boundaries. And just remember, when you are kind, they will begin to hate you because they cannot continue to manipulate you. I thank you so much for staying to the end of my video. If my message resonated with your spirit in particularly, subscribe to my channel. Why not? Why not? You guys, life is too short. Remember, God loves you. Jesus loves you. The Holy Spirit loves you. The universe loves you. <laughs> and you know what? Your empath, earth angel, I love you. I appreciate all of you. And I really hope that I see each and every one of you on my very next video.